very simple do's do not dwell too much on information overload about the pandemic in deep discussions and uh, under political influence that that's human behavior to connect through miseries uh, we have known through the races but when we get personally involved in these kind of discussion it is a major stressor and segregation for connectivity with people it's important that you take the basic precaution i would strongly recommend as a health professional that if there are people or uh, individuals around in your family social circle who are still having vaccination hesitancy or problems in procuring access to good health care support them educate them reach to a, a professional to get that guidance it is not just about that i survive for myself this pandemic is also an eye opener that along with me i have to take care of my near dears and bigger social circle so it is important that when we are meeting in new work environment we discuss healthy options we discuss positive well being there are a lot of stories across the internet and in uh, social clubs and media that how people help have helped each other whether it was education or a child's uh, project or helping the downtrodden and these stories are very empowering to the human spirit i would reiterate that all of us have extreme resilience but extreme resilience resilience if i have to define is the ability to bounce back that should not be confused with taking chances uh giving example of youngsters many of them feel inhibited and socially isolated because of limited access to um, partying clubbing at a given time during lockdown but i also at that time say, said and i am still reiterate that there can be lot of activities through the internet across the world where we can bring out lot of positive thoughts and well being methods so there was a group of uh, educated it professional which i know about and what they did is one of them taking permission from the concerned authorities set up a small uh, screen system in a lower strata community and they started teaching the kids small dance steps around and the kids became so clued to it about learning new dance moves and learning new hobbies that they would just not go out uh, of their homes and their limited space of thing they because they look very forward ki how bhai is going to teach me or how didi is going to teach me some new activity so there have been lot of positive outcomes but if we focus on well being for others we also create a space for compassion and more resilience for ourselves